Hello everyone, it's Shipwreck Samantha here and welcome back to my series on how to use Procreate. This is episode 4. I'm going to be teaching you today how to use the layers. Um, this is some of the scribbles I have from last week's episode and I'm going to show you how to use the layers and show you this right here is one layer. If I wanted to get rid of it, I can just click and drag all the way across and click clear and that removes everything on this layer. I can also tap undo. Now this layer is, is not opaque like it looks. You, that is just the background you see. So if you remove the background, you can see this is an entire layer in itself. And you can select it, move it, resize it, stretch it however you want. So this is a great benefit with layers because you can change the size and the look of each layer. Um, you can also change the color and the texture, things like that. You can do a lot with this. So to go and explain specifically what these layers do, you can add more layers by clicking this plus sign and another great thing is you can rename them right here so you can select the contents of the layer and so only the things on that layer will be selected and you can use that to draw over like this and it will only color that layer that you chose. You can also fill the layer with one color that is in your color dropper will become that layer and it'll fill it. And I'm going to undo that. You can also clear it by hitting that button. And you can also rename it, which is helpful to keep track of the layers. If there's smaller things that are difficult to see on this layer chart, um, it's helpful to be able to rename them. And then you can also click here, and there's a lot of other options that I won't get into too much, but be feel free to play around with this by just clicking this little end sign. Um, you can lighten, darken, change the color on this. You can create more contrast, hard light, soft light, overlay, all these different things. So play around with that, see what you like. And then as for these other layers, um, you can create a reference layer. So if you take two fingers and drag to the right, this will become a reference layer and you'll see that it's purple. That means this is the reference layer. So if I say decided to do a, a drop bucket of color on the next layer, you can see right here. Let me use a lighter color so you can see it better on the layers. If I drop, you can see right here that it's a whole separate layer with the exact shape from the layer below. Because I use that reference layer, it only fills in color where that reference layer is. This is really great for doing sketches and then filling them in, things like that, where you want to do it on a separate layer so you don't mess it up, but then you can quickly fill it in. To undo this reference layer, you just drag to the right again. You can also click and drag layers to change their position. So say I want to move this layer below the first one, I click and drag and it'll move it. You can also merge layers together by either clicking the top layer and clicking merge down, or you can drag them together with your hands. And this is a great way to merge multiple layers at once and you can drag them all together. To hide a layer, you just click this button right here and it hides it and that means it's not gone, it's just hidden so you can do other things and then bring it back later by pressing that again. That way you don't have to delete it but it stays out of your canvas so it's not distracting but you'll still have it that way. You can also, by dragging one finger or the pencil to the left, you can see these different options. You can select the contents right there. You can also copy the, hold on. You can also copy the layer. So you can copy and then drag down with three fingers and paste it. So I just created a copy of that layer. This is a great way to copy one layer and then paste it onto another canvas. But if you're looking to just duplicate a layer onto the same canvas, drag to the right, left and then click duplicate. And it does the same thing, but just on the same canvas. So the purpose of copying is copying it and then pasting it onto a different canvas um, for other use. As for the background right here, you can have no background at all like I showed earlier. Or 
You can also change the color of it by clicking on it and it'll take you to the color picker like shown in a previous episode and you can change that to any shade you want. That is the basics of how to use layers.